Hello everyone and welcome back to Gleaner Heights where, let's check on the weather for tomorrow, it's the first thing we do in the morning, a sunny day, fantastic, another day where we don't have to worry too much about what's going on, uh, actually let me just double check something, yeah, hmm, well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and let our, our animals out, then I'm going to go and get my, me some more items, some more uh, crops, Hello, my lovelies. We've got two chickens now. Are you not being fed properly? Hmm, I'm a little bit worried. We're not seeing them uh, uh, producing more eggs. Hmm. Maybe I need just to let them out overnight? Uh, I worry about that, I'll be honest, because I, I'm not sure that, that uh, animals will uh, be able to feed. Uh, or be safe for that matter. I mean, hens and chickens, they're not exactly known for being able to deal with, with cold weather. We'll have to see. Uh, let's pop you down here. Come on. Let's, let's go. Come on. Ah, let, let, there we go. Perfect. Right. You enjoy yourselves now. What are you up to? Oh, you're just doing it in rows. Yeah, that's fine. That is perfectly fine. Okay, let's go and see about that hammer. We've got a lot of things we want to do with it today. Uh, but before we get to that, I'm going to frustrate everyone by resisting the urge to immediately go and see what the hammer can give us access to. The tool is ready. Here, take it. Thank you very, 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 very much. Wonderful. Right. Well, we know where we need to go. But first, we need to get ourselves a few more seeds, I would say. We've only got 740. Um, I think it was 740. Uh, hello. Hello, what would you like to buy? Well, I said, oh, I wouldn't mind it. But uh, as it happens, we could just go all in and turnips if we wanted to. Uh, but no, let's not. We'll get 10 there. We'll get an extra 20 just as backup, I think. There you go. And we'll do much the same here. We'll go for 30. No, we won't. We don't have quite enough money. We'll grab 20. Okay. Thank you. All right. Let's go and get all of these crops planted. Then we're going to be heading out on some grand adventures. It's going to be a little while before we get a huge whack of money again. But I guess today we could for science it and let the... Uh, chickens stay out. We'll see. I'm not entirely sold on that idea, really. Uh, I, I'm not I'm not a big fan of for scienting when it when it comes to the potential expense of the well-being of my animals. I mean, I know it's not going to be raining tomorrow and I guess we we're going to need to if we're ever going to find out because right now it appears that they're not getting properly fed and that's making them very unhappy. Uh, right, let's go ahead and do that. Character level up, fantastic. Get all of these down. And then we'll plant some turnips on the row below it. And then I could go ahead and, realistically, is there any particular reason why I shouldn't get everything planted at once? I'm not certain there is. Uh, I will need to go and get more watering uh, cans and stuff like that set up. Mm, maybe. Maybe. We could just carry on down here as well. Which I might well do. Let's go ahead and get all this done. And thanks to our little friend there, it's going to be able to water that area despite the tree stump. And yes, I, I turned at the last moment unexpectedly. A little bit of a potch, really, but oh well. Right. I'm not going to plant any other of the uh, major crops, simply because I can't guarantee I'm going to have enough energy to take care of them all, if I do. Uh, additionally, I'm not sure we would get them all ready in time ahead of the end of the season. And when the end of the season arrives, we are more than likely going to find that our crops uh, do not have 
enough time to mature and will simply die at the season changeover. There you go. Just hope that all of these get watered. We'll have to see how that goes, though. Right, the first thing we're going to want are some herbs before we head off into the great unknown. Next item on my list of things to make is an upgraded axe. Beyond that, the watering can, I guess. It depends on how much we end up needing it, given that we've got an automaton helping us. Hopefully, we don't need much, but we'll see. Right then, let's go and grab these herbs and then we'll grab a couple in the forest beyond. There we go. I'm not going to go down into the uh, factory area today because that is just a cursed area and I'm constantly making myself exhausted. It's most frustrating, I must confess. That being said, you know what? Well, the other thing we can test while we're here, we're actually very close to the area where we can find out if I can break into the large, large boulders. But I'm, I'm almost certain I'm going to need a, a, a level 3 hammer for that. And possibly even level 4. Who knows? But let's go and give it a shot, I guess. Come then, you. Here we go. And let's not move in diagonals so that we can run properly. There we are. Perfect. Right, straight down the stairs, there should be a little area that we can try and mallet away right here. No. There we are. Fairly certain that was going to be the case. I am not disappointed that it, it, that it uh, worked out that way. At the end of the day, it gives us something to aim for. Though, that being said, let's see if I can't rush down to the... Um, Blacksmith, I forgot to check one thing. I was so eager to receive my mallet, I didn't check what the next upgrade is. Let's go and check on that, shall we? Should be able to still check. Oh, you need something upgraded. Oh, gold and 10,000. The 10,000 doesn't surprise me, but the gold does. I have a cow's work going, uh, well, thank you. I feel like I'm making progress. You should get a pretty hefty harvest from all of these plants that we've planted. How's my automaton doing? Uh, still doing its work. Carry on, little fella. Oh, it's grand to have them around. It really is. Now then. Let's see about you, shall we? Oh. You know what? Maybe I needed to charge this up in order to damage those... Oh, drag down a blast. Should have considered that. I really should have considered that. Uh, okay, well, we'll need to go back and double check, but maybe I need to do that via charging levels. Maybe I need to supercharge the, the hammer when I use it in order for it to work. We'll see shortly. Don't you worry. It's fine, it's fine. I'm just walking past. Okay, you were a little bit angry with me right at the end, but I don't care. All right. Can I just break through? Can I break through? Hmm. When does this upgrade? This is most ungood. I was certain we were going to be getting through there. Huh. Okay, so... I was, I thought that I just needed to build it up, but hmm. that has disappointed me. Let's see if that breaks it. Got it exploded? No. Well, uh, let's try this. Ah. This is only showing one star now. That is very interesting. Very interesting indeed. It's only showing one star when I've charged up by one level. Well then, I think we're going to need a level 2 just to get through there. Interestingly though... Hmm. Yeah, I think the, the stars indicate... Uh, how far away you are from breaking it. That is so frustrating. 
I was certain we were going to get to a new area today. Not going to lie, a little disappointed. But it gives us a new goal. So, uh, actually, you know, all, all's well that ends well. We've got, got a new thing to aim for, which means today's going to be a mining day. If I've got no access to a new level, then we are heading down the mines. Well, before I do that, let's try this. Yeah, two two stars there. Okay. How's the watering going? If it is going at all, in fact. Um, it's doing reasonably well. You'll almost be finished. I want to see if you... Well, actually, I can always check when I come back. Yep. We can always check when we come back. I will double check that large boulder. It may have had three stars on it. And if that's the case, then we we know that this is the, the system. Especially if we charge up the, the mallet and give it a good whack. And it then shows two stars. If that's the case, then yeah. Yeah, it, it, it is as I suspect. So, how many stars do you show when I whack you with this mallet? Three stars. And two stars okay right we have learned the system we have learned the system uh, that is frustrating though because i'm fairly certain those uh, tree stumps give only two stars as well uh, uh sorry give two stars rather than one star when i hit them with a the regular x which means we're actually quite a lot further from being able to get through there than i'd first realized Let's see how many hits on this wall I need. Not that many, actually. Okay, that's decent. Alright, we're going to be making our way down as deep as we can, as fast as we can, because we want lots of silver and now, in fact, gold. Let's head on down. What are we going to find down here, then? Hopefully, plant of herbs. Ouch. Thank you. Uh, leave me alone. There we go. Ooh. Anything down there? No. I, I've been trained now to look for that sort of thing. Uh, right, the, the exit is just there. Let's charge up. Does it take more energy to do that? Hmm, not sure. We're going to have to for science how many swings of the axe it takes. Uh, sorry, swings of the hand. So, on a regular, no charge. One. Two, three, four. Okay. And on the charge. One, two. Does it use more stamina? So regular hit. Okay. And a charge hit. I would say the regular hit does use less stamina than the charge hit. If it is less by a reasonable amount, I couldn't tell you though. Oh, we're going to have a long way to dig to get through here. I wonder if that gives me any better chance to find something decent, though, by charging it up. That I couldn't say yet. Interesting, though, all the same. One, two. One, and two. And go on, then. Oh, skill in mine has gone up. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh. Really? I thought the stairs could no longer just be completely obscured. Apparently, I thought wrong. Ooh, thank goodness. Yep. Yep. We're not looking to fight right now. We're looking to progress. Oh, wow. Loads of, uh... Loads of herbs here. I approve. Now then... I do like that we can make a chunk more progress, though, with the uh, charged mallet swings. It's going to be that much easier, though, to exhaust myself with these. Copper. And gobble these down. Let's swap those out, shall we? Yeah, that'll do. And across. Unfortunate. Here we are. This should be the one. And indeed it was. Right, floor five. Oh, really? Scoundrels. Scoundrels. Cheat hacksaws. Spawn campers. Ouch. Unnecessary levels of damage. 
not interested in killing you. Why do you have to 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 force my hand like this every time? Hmm, where is the exit point? I don't see it down here, which means it's most likely visible already. Huh. Okay, we're gonna go across this way. Out. And again, please. There we are. Ooh. I accept. Right, now we should technically be safe. At least for the time being. There we are. Anything interesting? Oh, really? Right in the corner there? Alright then. Let's get over there. Ooh, really? I just find lithium in just regular mining? That much? I am actually surprised by, genuinely so. Let's gobble down as much of this as we can. And then I would like to gobble down pretty much all of my healing herbs, just so I've got some room. There we go. Might actually need to head back up reasonably soon. Simply because we lack inventory space. That is a bit of a new experience for me. Maybe that backpack isn't uh, a luxury after all. Now, the mallet does seem to do a whopping great chunk of extra damage. So, at the very least, we should be well equipped for fighting the creatures down here, if nothing else. Right, there's the ladder. Uh, sure, we'll just dig over on this side. We're finding decent stuff all the time. What I need, though, now is gold and redonkulous amounts of money. Uh... I know, it's like, all I need is this. But, it, it is effectively the only thing I, I need right now, before we can upgrade our uh, mallet to the correct level to gain access to the new area. Uh, again, I am bitterly disappointed that we've got two upgrades before we can access a new area with the mallet. That, that seems especially cruel. I accept. I will eat straight away. Oh, wow. I think it's going to be right at the top. Uh, I could probably get there faster if I went from the top right instead of the bottom left. Still, I'm fine with this. There we go. And... Should be about here, I think. There we are. Okay, gonna need some more herbs, please and thank you. Sorry, but I needed that. In fact, I need a lot of these right now. Uh, right. Sure. Should be able to access it quite conveniently from about here. Yeah. But before we, scout, uh, we head down to the next level, let's just scout out this one, just in case. You never know. No, nothing, nothing else there. Fine, heading down further in that case. Oh dear. Why have you started me right next to a bloody spider? Not that I dislike spiders, you understand. I actually quite like them. But, in terms of things to be stood next to, not exactly the best one in this game. Not when you first enter an area, at the very least. Oh dear. Let's gobble down all of these. Nope. You're gone. Quickly, okay, finish it off. Uh, there we go. But that's not gonna hurt too much, uh, especially because we can use that to make a couple of nice items. Hello, can I just slip past? Thank you. Hmm. Interesting. Where are we going next then? I may not have enough energy to do much down here. Huh. I don't see the exit. I don't even see where it would be possible for the exit to be. Uh, really, you're going to force me to destroy you, Utley? Most rude. Yeah. Most rude. Is it up here somewhere? Oh, it was. I can see the sparkle a little bit better now. I was so worried about getting away from that bloody spider. Start heading up. But I am finding that mining is significantly easier with the upgraded mallet. So, although we haven't got what we wanted out of it, it's not to say that we we haven't got a good upgrade. Um, where are you then? 
That's a tower. I think it may be up the top there. Another bat glitched into the wall. It's the second time we've seen that happen. Alright, let's head north with them. Actually, I'm out of herbs, so might need to start heading back and forth. Yes, I suspect we do need to start heading back and forth. Uh, Alright, well, let's see what we can do. If we can get up, then we will. If I can find a single herb, then we might be able to break through with a lucky hammer attack and just go up the next level. Um, those worms are going to be a pest, aren't they? Yes, they are. Two, and one, two. There we go. Goodbye. Ouch. Maybe not goodbye yet. Okay, this one's not a good spawn. Uh, unless we can see the stairs. And I can't. So, we're going to have to recycle. Uh, we're going to have Yeah, I guess it's recycling in a way. We're going to have to cycle the level there. Let's see, what have we got around here? Nothing too much, and I'm not interested in going down, so digging right now is not the goal. I'm interested in, and the only thing I'm interested in, in is going up. There we are. Nope. I mean, we do have a way up that I can see, but I've no, got nowhere near the energy required to get there. Ah, oh, really, game? That's just insult to injury. And again? Really? It does do this sometimes, unfortunately. Uh, but we should be able to get some herbs eventually. There doesn't seem to be any kind of waiting that I can that I've observed, or if there are, if there is some sort of waiting in the random generation of the levels, it isn't immediately obvious. It doesn't seem to be trying to force my hand in any way or intentionally get me trapped. It just seems to be quite random. Um, now, there's pros and cons with complete randomness. Uh, actually, yeah, we can try this one, I think. We might be lucky. Were we lucky? No, we most certainly were not. Uh, very well then. Down we go. But, uh, randomness in, in a system like this is not always the best thing. A, a sort of semi-randomness, much better than true randomness. Oh, that's, that's good. Um, some days you'll get nothing at all and it'll be ho horrible and you'll spend like 40 minutes down the mine just trying to get back up from floor like three or four and other times you'll make pretty solid progress uh, around and you'll always have the things you need like the game is just you know giving you a break I doubt it is I, I'm fairly certain that the game is simply being the game and it just happens to have a truly random generator uh, there we are but as I said Generally, I would say that in games, it is better to have quasi-randomness. Enough randomness that things change, but kind of like uh, an intelligent system that's like, yeah, okay, they, they've, they, this is no longer fun for them. Let's let's give them a break, let them out. There we go. And up we go. Now, there's nothing that's gonna, that, can, that says we won't be able to find gold or any of the more rare materials on our way back. In fact, it was around this sort of level where I found the miner's helmet in the chest, actually. So, it's definitely worth it. Uh, and the fact that you can just keep getting ladders, uh, sorry, herbs down here, does mean that, that mining is a very enjoyable experience, for me, at, at the very least. Aside from the occasions where as I said, you're spending 40 minutes just to try and rise like two or three levels in the mine. Uh, but even then, you're still finding stuff, so it's not it's not a terrible uh, time of it. Uh, there we go. Whereas in Stardew Valley, uh, with mining, uh, it, was, it was engaging, certainly, but it wasn't exactly uh, amazing. All that. My hands are full, so I can't use the ladder. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, but mining did sometimes feel a little bit, uh, you had no reason to be there except for the chests. Of course you had the, the, um, killing quests, 
uh, the the monster slaying quest. But outside of that, you were just trying to get to certain level boundaries so that you could try and get hold of the the chest and progress the main story. I mean, who knows? Maybe that's something to do here. Maybe there's some creature far down in the mine. But right now, I actually quite enjoy just running around and uh, doing a little bit of mining now and then. There we go. Let's get all the way down to here. Really? Ah, there we go. Perfect. That was actually a really good uh, proc on our ability. But that should be it. We should be out of the mine now. There we go. Marvellous. Alright, no gold though, which is a dire shame. Now, if we're super lucky and we can find two pieces of silicon, then I can make a upgraded water mod for our automaton. And that is definitely my goal at the moment. I wish I could build a chest and just pop it in the workshop so I could keep all of my workshop items in there. Not being able to do that myself is a little bit of a pain. Alright, did you water everything? Yeah, it looks like you did. Well done, little automaton. You've done a very good job today. Very good. I approve. Uh, hmm. Well, we could definitely uh, upgrade a few things. Uh, yeah, we really do need to get that sorted out. Well, if nothing else, we'll head down. We'll have a little bit of fighting before heading back out again. Might as well use up all the time we have in the day. There we go. Hello. One, two, three. Decent enough. Damn it. Really, I, I haven't got the energy for your shenanigans today. Ouch. Really haven't got the energy for it. Oh, how I hate you. Okay, this is a stupid idea. I realized that there was a somewhat of a risk. And then I came down here anyway. Like a fool. Um There we go. We're gonna charge it up and go for the uh sneak attacks wherever possible. There we go. Still three hits with a charged attack, so I'm gonna say that's really not worth it. Just because you're gonna be annoying if I don't take you up. Right, let's head up. I really hadn't intended to come down here again. Not today, but... No. Need the silicon at the end of the day. And it seems that it's the best way for me to get it is by farming things that were made with it. Right, let's just take you guys down. You are much easier to wipe out, generally speaking. And part of that is because you wipe yourselves out with such high frequency. Oh. Saved by a random rock. Well done, random rock. Ow. Didn't you have killed the, the laser automaton? That would have been great. Ah, oh, I should have tried to use your your brother as cover. There we are. Skill and hammer has already increased. Oh, I can't actually get out that way. Huh. Now that is surprising. Okay. Do I have a bomb? I do not. Hmm. May have made a bit of a silly then. One charge attack. Two charge attacks. Whew. Have I got... Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna risk it for a biscuit. Uh, can I get out this way, though? Is that door open to me? I don't think it is. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, we're gonna go down that way. Whoop, 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 whoop. No, whoop, whoop, ah! Scoundrel that you are! Be gone! I will accept your fat. Oh, there we go. And the other one is open. It seems that the doors at the top will close, but the doors at the bottom do not. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. I was about to say, I've done a very, very big silly. But no, no, I haven't done a silly. Hooray. I am not going to gather the night flowers today, though. We're simply going to leave. Can I get up there? No, I can't. Alright. Well, we've got the silver that we need. I believe it was only two that we needed for the mod. So, we'll double check that. And for tonight, we're going to leave the 
her chickens out, I think. And we'll just let them have their time. Hopefully this works. Uh, right, I want to check what I need for the water mod again. I believe it's two more silicon than I have. Yeah. I've got the quartz, I've got the copper, I've got the silver. Just need two extra silicon. So we are going to have to farm a little bit more in order to get get the silicon that we require. But other than that, we should be good. Uh, right, let's get rid of you, get rid of all of that. Honestly, at this point, I don't need the copper either. And I haven't found a use for this yet, so... Let's just cycle through all of this. Today's mining endeavors. We'll see how much we get from that. Ah, oh, I am tired. Alright, rest for the remainder of the day, indeed. And let's see how much we get from it. Uh, we get a level up. Hooray. I could go for a dash attack. Attacking with an axe, hammer, hoe, or sickle while running will cause you to perform a dash attack. Uh, maybe. If you weren't human, you would be a hippopotamus. Uh, vigorous would give me a little bit more health. Hardy give me more stamina. I'm not super interested in that just yet. Ground slam, I wouldn't mind, though. Do I need to have... Yeah, I don't need to have had the uh, attack there, so that's fine. That's one, two, three, three. I need farming nine for crop jackpot. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hoarder. You need more space for your stuff. You gain two additional inventory slots for your items and tools. I mean, that one might not be a bad option, honestly. Um... I don't have anything to go with for chef yet, because I can't cook. So it really doesn't matter to me too much on that one. Uh, stamina Thief. Is it the result of Shoyden fraud or intense meditation skills? Each enemy you defeat slightly restores your stamina. That would be amazing. Truly amazing. I think, given all of this, we're actually going to go for Hardy. Actually, 10 points on stamina? Sure. And we've got a new chick. Oh, this is truly a wondrous time indeed. Uh, right, we are going to be naming this chick Erin. There we go. Welcome to the farm, Erin. Enjoy. Are you sure? Yes. And with that, we're wrapping up this episode. So I am hopeful that we're going to be able to make rapid progress towards getting the third tier hammer, but we haven't even found gold yet. So that's going to require a decent trip down the mine. How much money have we got? Well, we've not got a terrible amount, and I could plant some more crops besides. Uh, we're starting to get on in the day, though. And I'm not entirely certain that we've got enough time to plant the lettuce. We do have enough time to plant plenty of turnips, though, if I particularly want to. So maybe that's something we could look into. In fact, let's just ch double check the uh, weather report. What's tomorrow's weather like? Excellent. A sunny spring day. So yes, we'll probably go and buy a boatload of turnips. And then we will plant those tomorrow. But that is it from me for now. I do hope you enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. But until then, please take care, everyone.